Well, this is it. The HP Velotechnique Scorpion FS26 Pedlec. It's called a Pedlec because it's a combination of pedaling and electricity. Yeah, actually, I think it is pronounced ped elect. So if we get a closer look, this is the battery that runs this particular motor. Now you have up to five degrees of assist that you can get. If we look here, right now is telling, uh, telling us that our battery is at three, three of five bars. And if I push this little plus sign right here, I can get an, an assist of plus one. Plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five. Plus five would be like having a hurricane at your back. So I'm gonna lower this back to a plus one. This, by the, by the way, is my, my helmet. Helmet is made by uh, Smith Optics. This is called the Smith Forefront. It has a, uh, an adapter to take a camera. It uh, accepts the uh, GoPro Hero 5 camera which is what I'm recording with right now. I probably should introduce myself. I'm Alan Johnson. I began pedaling with a standard road bike about 30 or 40 years ago. And then my lower back and my, my neck began to cause some problems and I decided to go to a recumbent tricycle. I figured at my age, which is 71, that it would be safer. And here recently, I just purchased this wonderful tricycle that allows me to use some motor assist to get up a steep hill or to face a wind. The first thing that I do is I set up my computer. I push the plus sign just once to get a level of assistance of one out of five. So that's kind of like having a wind at your back, but not a hurricane. So we managed to go up that short little hill up around the corner in my neighborhood. We're spinning along very smoothly. We have full suspension on both the front wheels and the rear wheel. So the ride is very smooth. Although I do have to say that I have added a Ventasit. A Ventasit is a, a type of cushion that uh, I added to the seat for just a little extra comfort. When I went around that last corner I was going pretty quickly. I actually lifted one of the front wheels off the ground. So it is possible to flip a tricycle. You have to really work at it, but it's possible. Here we're going downhill. Now we're moving at 34 miles an hour. It's a very steep hill. You really can't tell from the, from the video. But you can see I'm cutting the corners here. It's always fun to go downhill, especially at those kinds of speeds. Have to admit, I feel more comfortable doing it on a tricycle than I did on my regular road bike. Road bike? <laughs> okay, pretty soon we'll be leaving the neighborhood. And in fact, here we are on the main road and we're going to turn left here 
to get on a bike path. For those of you that know the Tri-Cities, this is Keene. And now we're on the Keene Road bike path. Now when I'm rolling on the flats, I'm moving at about 25 miles an hour. Normally, uh, with a tricycle uh, in which I did not have assistance, um, I was moving at about 15. Now I'm going to blow by this guy at a full 25 miles an hour. He thinks, my goodness, that guy is some kind of rider. <laughs> Little does he know that I'm getting assistance. Okay, I'm back on the main road and heading back home. I'm going to make a left-hand turn here into our neighborhood. Always try to try to be careful that people see me. Uh, often I wave at them and keep on waving until they wave back, and in that way I I know they can see me. Of course, uh, I have a, a light on my helmet facing forward and another light uh, on the rear side facing back. So, And they are flashing so people can see me. Uh, later on, as uh, I do the credits, I'll, I'll let you know what I use for lights, which uh, I really enjoy. Well, here we are coming back into my neighborhood. The roads have just been recently nicely paved and so it's a real smooth ride. Coming up to the very last corner. And I'm I'm beginning to coast to uh come to a halt. Usually my cars are in the garage, but uh, I started this video with the uh, with the tricycle all by itself in the garage. Well, there she is, the Scorpion FS26. By the way, these little bags are made by Axiom, A-X-I-O-M, and um, they're only about 10 inches wide, but they're just perfect for putting in a sack lunch and a few tools if you should run into trouble. And uh, always put up a flag. This flag is from Recumbent PDX. Recumbent PDX is out of Portland. They are where I purchased the bike and they did a wonderful job. Um, they serve you well, they understand what service is, and they know their product. Until the next time, this is Alan Johnson. Say, great travels, happy pedaling.